Do you want to increase your views just by improving your thumbnails? By the end of this video, you will have the fundamentals of preparing thumbnails that many successful YouTubers utilize on a daily basis. If you don't want to miss out on my future YouTube tips, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon. Let's jump into my first tip. As you're filming the video, make sure to give yourself at least 5 poses that can be used as a thumbnail. One thing you don't want while editing your video is to find yourself scrolling through the video not being able to find any possible thumbnail picture. That's why it's highly important that you have at least 5 possible poses that can serve you as a thumbnail picture. Tip number 2. Once you pick one of the possible thumbnail pictures, what you want to do is increase the sharpness and saturation of the picture so that your image pops up as people are scrolling through the videos. You can do this directly on your photos app on your iPhone. Just go to edit picture and increase saturation and sharpness by around 20% and see how it looks. Tip number 3. You want to be on one side of the image and react to the other side of the image. You don't want your face to be pale or literal. You want your face to be happy, angry, surprised. Depending on the context of your video, you want to evoke emotions. That's the first thing. So when people are scrolling through the videos, your thumbnail will grab their attention and possibly increase your view. Tip number four. Once you have your face on one side of the picture, you want to populate the other side of the image with bold text that are up to five words. You want to use three to four words in general so that you can really pop up your words and make them large on the screen. If you use more than 5 words, most likely they will have to get smaller and smaller. You can do this using the Ponte app. It's free to download and you can get your pictures and add text onto them. My fifth tip is that you use a background for your text so that you can really make the words pop up. This will help you get more views and get more attention to your words as people are scrolling down and it will really give an insight to people what your video is about. And my bonus tip for the day is that you can use PicMonkey to adjust the YouTube thumbnail size. You can't directly do this on the Fonte app but PicMonkey allows you to do that. It is free to use as well so that's one of the things I do. I first prepare them on the Photos app then transfer them to Ponto, then adjust the size precisely using the PicMonkey app. It's free on iPhone and there you have it. 5 tips plus 1 bonus for preparing thumbnails on your iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.